Hi, my name is Christina Kelber, pastry chef at Market by Jean Georges Restaurant at the W Hotel. Today we are going to make a strawberry patafui, which is a French gummy candy, literally translated to fruit paste. So we're going to start by taking our strawberry puree, pouring it into the pot. Now you want to make sure that you're using a fairly thick bottomed pot so as to prevent scorching on the candy. We're going to turn that on. To, starting with a, a medium to a high flame just to get the puree warmed up and to a gentle boil. So now that the puree has come to a gentle boil, we're going to take the pectin that has been tossed with a little bit of the sugar and we're going to sprinkle it over the top of the puree. I usually do it in about two stages so that in between each addition, you can give it a gentle whisk. Again, evenly over the surface. Now the reason why you add the sugar and the pectin together is that so when you add the pectin to the puree, it doesn't clump up and the sugar granules keep the pectin particles separated. And then your finished candy you don't have any lumps of pectin. And now I'm going to turn it down to a low to medium heat. And I'm going to add in our glucose, which you can also use corn syrup when you're making this at home. It's essentially the same type of product, which is an invert sugar to keep the sugar in the recipe from crystallizing in the candy. Also give that a pretty good stir so it doesn't sink to the bottom. And you can notice that the color on the puree is also starting to darken just a little bit. Now that we have that fully incorporated, we're going to add our bulk of our sugar in three stages. Also again, sprinkling over the entire surface to prevent clumping. And I'm also going to whisk this in to ensure that we don't get any clumps. And again, with each addition of the sugar, the puree is going to turn a little bit darker as it's going to start getting syrupier. Once that's fully incorporated, now we're going to turn the heat up a little bit more to medium heat. And we're going to let this come up to 107 Celsius, stirring every 5 to 10 minutes to prevent scorching. Now that my candy has come to 107, I'm going to add the acidulated mixture, which is the tartaric acid. Now if you're using this at home, you can go feel free to use cream of tartar, which you can get at any grocery store, and just hydrate it with an equal amount of water. So we're just going to toss that in there. And using our whisk, we'll whisk that right in. Now what that little mixture is going to do is it's also going to drop down the temperature to stop the cooking. And then we're going to pour it into our tray which has been sprayed with a little bit of um, non-stick cooking spray and then lined with a uh, plastic wrap. So we're just going to pour that right in there. And now you can see it's starting to spread over my tray. And what I'm going to do in order to get nice, even cuts of candy is we're going to pull this plastic wrap back to form a rectangle so that later when we go to cut it, we have nice square pieces. Now once that's fully covered, We'll let this sit out at room temperature for a few hours, if you would like to, overnight, to make sure that it's fully set to cut. Now that our pet of is fully set, we're going to cut it and plate it. So what I like to do is slowly, because you're going to notice that this is a pretty dense candy, kind of like cutting a big jumbo gummy bear. Slowly cut a strip.
See, and if you cut it slowly and evenly, you won't have any jagged lines. You have a nice, crisp, clean edge. And then we're going to cut it into squares. Now you can pretty much cut into any shape your little heart desires. And then we place it into granulated sugar to give it a nice coating to keep the pat of fouille from drying out. Give that a little toss. They're nicely even coated. And there you have your strawberry pedophilia.